Hey, you're back. Just out here looking at this thing again. I think I'm overthinking it. I do. I do. I think uh, I should just make it simple. I'll put this in. I'll put a switch just like it had before. The, the top, I'll put two two uh, fuses in and the charging things. No other switches, nothing else. So we'll have the USB charging, uh, so 5 volt for phones and whatever electronics. 5 volt 3 amp, this is, charges really fast. You can see on the voltmeter the, the, the draw that's coming out of it. So I'll, I'll do those and I'll do the uh, cigarette lighter 12 volt things. So I'll just order some of these from, I think I can probably get them at Princess Auto. And uh, done. Simple. It's, uh, don't have to really, really overthink things. So let's, uh, let's go that way. So saying that, let's pivot and focus on something else today. Let's look at this and this and put the two together. See if we can uh, get a functioning carburetor in the end. So here's the exploded view. This is everything I got when I took it apart. Now if I could just remember how it went back together, it would be in good shape. Let's, uh, let's see what we got in our kit. Inside. Make sure that we got all the right bits. Handy. Our needle and seat. Well, one thing it doesn't come with is that little piece. That's weird. Okay. Well, it's it's just a it's just a uh, jet. So I was just checking the. Uh, gaskets like, look at that like oh geez that's huge it's not the right one I'll check this oh look that's huge too this is the correct one because <laughs> this is the same one as that's on still stuck to the motor that's uh, that's something else look at the tiny difference it's not very much this uh carburetor this motor i guess uh not carburetor but this motor is uh the exact same as the 15 horse the only difference in in the motors is the size of the venturi in the carburetor so it has a, a different a larger airflow and uh well it goes faster right gives more horsepower Okay, let's check this gasket with this one. Yeah, they're the same. That's good. <clears throat> so I'm I'm putting things back together here now. I can't remember what these things are for or where they go. So, you're going to have to watch a video or check out the exploded part diagram. That's what I'll do. Be right back. Well, I'm back. You can hear the heater on in the background because it's cold out here. Now, I went in to try and figure out where these little things go. Oh, they've got a part number. Jeez, but I looked hard enough. 
like a little seam on it. Three, three, four, zero, four, seven. <laughs> yeah, I just can't, uh, I can't think of where they go. But that's okay. We don't, we don't need them if we can't figure where they go. Not yet, anyways. I imagine that we'll come across uh, a spot where they fit at some point in our rebuild here. So, here I have my pokey pokey thing. It's pokey on that end is pokey on this end. It's a dental tool. Dental tools are really handy in your shop. So, I'm using it for what it's not intended because it's in the shop. That's what all dental tools should be doing. Used as, not as attended, intended. So, what I'm doing is I'm trying to embiggen that end to fit it over this little feller here. This is more difficult than it looks, believe me. Get on there, you. You as well. Just a dab will do you. Come on, there we go. It's just to lube that up, fit the hose on easier. I think that's got it. Yep, that's got it. Houston, we have a problem. Part of our uh, dealio here is we want to get the float level with uh, the base of the carb. So I'm going to have to adjust said float. Jeez, we, our battery just died there. So I've got this extra battery case on so that it's turned it on. Oh, come on, you. You're not supposed to do that. A little rubber gasket in there. This is frustrating. This little guy wants to turn on me now.
I just uh, cut that much off of that uh, little hose because it was pushing up on this, putting it out of place because it's supposed to sit in a very specific spot right there. I think we got it now. Let's put this stuff back in. Oh, I'm not thinking so well for this. I got this upside down. That's why it's not, that's why it's hitting. That's why it was so out of whack. have to adjust it again to put it back into whack. Ah, uh, yeah. Minor detail, this. Up is up and down is down. Nothing to see here, folks. Just your normal, everyday amateur. Working on something they probably shouldn't be. look even even enough for me mm -hmm. we got it wowee oh, now let's get some screws in this so it's just that easy uh, when you go and take a look at the schematic drawings I suggest you look at which way is up for the <laughs> for the float remember only tighten these to the torque specs specified in the instructions I found where these go they go in here uh, I guess they uh, they're just uh, fitting so that you don't crush and warp this. So, oh, it's good to know. Let's stick them in. Let's get our gasket for here. This one. What an ingenious system, this. I'll show you. So, the screws only go in where the, the two pieces aren't that's because the uh, the breather lid screws on, or the breather itself screws on to the carburetor. Hang on. What is that? Can you see this? Right here. Oh, it looks like a crack. It does. Let's take this off. I didn't pay a lot of attention to this uh, when I cleaned it, but let's uh, see. That shouldn't be cracked. I hope it's not cracked. That's cracked. Isn't that a pain in me? Hmm. Come on, light, work with me. Can you see the crack? There, you can see the crack. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to go find another one of these online somehow that uh, is a big pain I bet you this thing is gonna 
end up costing about as much as a knockoff carb. Ah, uh, jeez. Three, 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 four, oh, five, zero. it is ladies and gentlemen three three four zero five zero uh oh unavailable a hundred and twenty six dollars and thirty one cents that's crazy oh that's for the 9.9 .9 to 15 horsepower motors what's well, the the, the carburetor is pretty much the same and it is the same block Let's take a look for the 15 horsepower carburetor. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this part number. They're all the same. We're going to copy that, control C. Then we're going to go to our favorite search engine, eBay. eBay.com. Well, let's, uh, let's do some digging. So here's uh, eBay. There isn't much for these Johnson and Root carbs. 208 for that. And I can't find a carburetor, uh, a full. Well, here we are. I I'm kind of disappointed in that. That's a, it's a crack, and it goes into the, the, uh, what is that? That's the, the low speed jet, uh, threaded area. Oh, well, I guess. I don't know. I could, could try crazy glue. Might do that until I can find another piece. But. Until then, we're going to set it aside and uh, try and determine what we need to do. Uh, I'm going to call Hans as well. Hans is a uh, Kijiji seller of outboard engines and parts. It's mostly parts. He hardly ever sells engines, actually. Uh, and I'm going to see if he's got one of these. So, I'll... Uh, send him a picture of this tonight and hope to hear from him tomorrow. I'm going to wrap it up here too. That's uh, kind of disappointing. I was hoping to have this car back together so we can, you know, make boat noises and go out in the water. But uh, it's not happening. Well, there's a different number on it. I better write that down. Okay, so there's a on the whole carb it's MX four three uh three 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 two. What does that say? Three four three four seven two zero. Three three four seven two zero. Okay. We'll take those numbers, see what they tell us, and uh, I'll give Hans a, an email tonight, and maybe a call tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Click clicky things. Uh, remember to be nice to your carburetors. Don't tighten that jet screw too much, because like this stuff, it looks like it's almost like Bakelite. Uh, <laughs> it's hundred and what was that? Hundred twenty-six dollars. Uh, that'll be plus shipping, and that's American. So this is a, <laughs> a piece worth millions of dollars, it seems. <laughs> 
Oh well. Let's uh, see what we can find out there.